Hello guys. Uh, it's Mr. Market Switch. We are here again. Uh, All right, uh, guys, uh, I'm super excited uh, today to be here with you again. And uh, for those who are juniors for the first time, you are most welcome. This is a Forex mentorship program. And the purpose for this program is to help you guys to understand better, to understand better about forex market, how to analyze forex market in a, uh, in a professional way, and also how to acquire different trading strategies that can help you uh, in, your, in your trading career. So it's very important and it's, very, uh, it's a very wonderful uh, program that help, uh, that help us and help all of us to, uh, to understand better about the forest market and hence uh, it, uh, it improve our result in the market. So guys, we're here today and today we are on episode two of Market Makers Course. Remember yesterday we started with Market Makers Course, the revised version of Market Makers Course on our first episode. And today we have a second episode it's very important. So if you are here for the first time, if you are here for the first time, please make sure you go through a yesterday presentation so that you may be able to connect with what we are going to learn today. You may not understand better what we are going to learn here today if you have not gone through a yesterday presentation. So it's very important. Remember, today, uh, we are going a little bit deeper. We are going a little bit deeper and uh, it's very important for you guys to pay your attention uh, uh, on, on, this, on, this, on this presentation. All right. Uh, let's go to the, to the real stuff now. Okay, there we go. Remember guys, uh, we are, our discussion is solely based on market maker scores. We are already done with other staffs, support resistance, Fibonacci retracement and extension. We are done with uh, market chart patterns. We are done with candlestick patterns and how to trade candlestick patterns. And we are done with how you can now combine all those, all those, so that you may be able to make your decision in the forex market. Remember, it's not, uh, it's not about just using one evidence. Uh, it's not about just using one evidence uh, in, in, in doing your analysis. You have to collect as many evidences. You have, you must have as many confirmation in, at your disposal before you, you, you make a decision of taking a trade in the, in the first market. So that's why you need to combine everything. You need to combine all information so that when you take a trade, you are sure of what you're doing. So guys, today I want to explain something that's very, very special. You know what? Yesterday, remember yesterday we discussed about market makers goals, uh, looking at the market for the past 10 days past 10 days. 
But before we came to that, we, 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 we had a discussion on how to set up your, your market makers codes uh, template. So we had a setup to set up uh, market makers codes. And then from there, please, if you uh, make sure you unmute yourself, make sure you mute yourself after joining here. I want to be the only one speaking. Mr. Kamugi, please mute yourself. Mute yourself, please. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I want to be the only one speaking here, guys, so that you may be able to uh, clearly understand uh, what I'm going to explain to you. I was just saying that yesterday we, we had a discussion and we, we were able to make a setup of market makers codes. We made a setup of market makers codes template uh, so that you may not just repeat it every now and then in doing the same thing. So we, we, we had a setup of uh, market makers codes template and you saved your template. Uh, and now today we, we are going to take one step ahead. Remember, Yesterday, we were just looking at the market and the market makers codes on the past 10 days. Remember, when you're analyzing the market on and the market makers codes, we are looking at uh, what the market has been doing in the past 10 days when the market closed, after the market closure on Friday. After the market closure on Friday. And that's why, using market makers codes, we advised you guys to do analysis on weekend just before the market is open. Why? Because you, uh, you, uh, you, you are not confused with, uh, with, the, with, the work, with, with what the market is doing currently. Uh, you, are not, you, you, just be, you just base on what the market has been doing for the past 10 days from the day when the market closed on Friday to the, uh, to, to, uh, until you have 10 days back. Uh, you see, so it's very easy to do uh, uh, forex analysis using market makers codes uh, when the market is closed when the market is closed uh, when the market is closed see guys so that's that's uh, that's that's what we're doing mr musa is asking about the link the link is already active please join join us here the link is already active make sure when you join us here you mute yourself Mute yourself, please. Thank you. Let's go back, guys, to our screen here. All right. Now, remember, we were discussing about AudioSD. We did analysis on AudioSD yesterday. Yesterday. And remember, yesterday, we were doing this. We were doing this using 15 minutes time frame. See, maybe we just go back for the benefit of those who were not here yesterday. For the benefit of those who were not here yesterday. Let's see. Now, you see the uh, you see uh, this uh, uh, period separator. Every separation here represents one day. When you go to 15 minutes time frame, make sure you condense your chart just like that. So. This is a period separator, and you can see there is a separator uh, in every area here. Now, every period separator you see, every period separator, every period separator you see here represent a single day and a 15 minutes time frame. See what I mean, guys? It's very important to notice that. Now, I want us to now count 10 days back, 10 days back, under 15 minutes time frame from when the market closed on from when the market closed on friday what you see here this is today this is what the market is doing today or this is what the market has been doing today just after uh, just after after, after uh, from asian session just from asian session this is what the market has been doing from morning it was a downtrend it was a bearish market from morning see guys so this is Wednesday. This was Tuesday. This one here was what? It was Monday. So this was a Friday. So the market closed somewhere here. So you take your line. 
It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the market closed it. This was Friday. So the market closed somewhere here. So just forget about this. Just forget about this. So you count 10 days back from Friday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 days back. So what you see, you see that the, uh, the market was on downtrend. The market was on downtrend. You see, the market was on downtrend. From this point here, from this highest price within 10 days to this lowest price within 10 days. So what I mean, guys? So the market was on downtrend. See, guys, that's very important for you to, to see. So why are we looking? Why are we looking 10 days back? Because we want to see what the market was doing in the past 10 days. The past 10 days. Why? Because it's very important for you guys to understand that as we are now going to see the possibility of market correction. The possibility of market correction after 10 days. Because the market cannot just keep on selling. Because what you see here is a number of transactions. So the dealers cannot just keep on selling without buying. Because the market might collapse if they just take only one direction. It's very important for you guys to understand. Just imagine if all pairs, all pairs in the forex market were just taking on, were just moving, uh, we're just moving. Uh, we're just oh, we're just moving in one direction, either selling or buying. That means the market could be very predict predictable. Everybody could be making profit in the forex market. So we could not have a balance of the uh, of the market, and hence the market could collapse. So it's very important for us to understand that, and this explains why the market uh, is moving in a wave like. Because they have to buy and they have to sell. They have to, to buy and they have to sell in order to balance the market. So it's very, very important to know that, uh, uh, to know how the, uh, the forex market is moving. Uh, there is this kind of statement that people used to say, what goes around comes around. You can also apply this here because uh, what, what goes down must come, must, 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 come, but must come back to the top. So what falls from the roof, what falls from the roof will go back to the roof. That's, that's how forest market, that's how forest market operates, guys. It's very important. It's a number of transactions. When they buy, they have to sell. When they sell, they have to buy. It's very important. It's, 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 it's how this, this stuff works. Now, we have 10 days back. We have 10 days back, and this is what the market has been doing. So if we mark, remember, you mark the highest price reached by the market, and the second highest, the second highest. See guys, you just, you don't need to waste more time to concentrate where the second highest. You just pick the highest, the highest is the most important. The second highest, you just just take a look at the, at the, at the, at the, at the second high after the, 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 the highest one. So you just consider something like that. And uh, what now, the lowest, you mark the lowest, the horizontal line, the lowest price, and the second lowest, uh, the second lowest, you might consider that one there. It's very clear. So we have this, we have uh, this area here. So this one here now, we regard this area as a sell zone, bearish zone, because it's where we have supply. It's where we have beers in control, beers position, uh, concentration of beers position. And here is where we expect to have concentration of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of, 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 of bulls position. Concentration of bulls position. And do you remember what I said? Why, why did I bother myself going back to explain the same thing that we already explained yesterday? This is now my point. Remember what I said yesterday? Yesterday we, we saw this under 10 days. Under 10 days it was a clear, it, it was a clear what? It is, was a clear bullish market. You can imagine for somebody who took a position just above this area, just above this buy area. It was a clear, it was a clear 
buy market. You see, guys? But this buy market could not, could not proceed further. You see? After the breakout of this bullish, after breakout of this bullish zone, demand zone here, buying zone, we expect a retest. So you see the market coming back just like it is going to do a retest and then back to the uh, bullish market, but it kept on moving down. And you see the market even decided to make a breakout below the buying zone, made a breakout below the buying zone. Now, here is where, is where we are going now to learn something that's very powerful that's very powerful, guys. And this, this now take us into, into uh, today's presentation because there is a number of questions here. Why now? Why now the market could not respect this buying zone? Why now the market could not, uh, not go back to the, uh, to, the, to the bullish market as we expected? What happened? Why are we not seeing this market makers calls work? There is a misbehaving of, 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 the, of, the, of, the, of the market on this strategy. A lot of question comes in the mind, why? Maybe this strategy is not genuine. Maybe this strategy is not working anymore. No, let me show you guys. And that's why we have this mentorship program because it helps us much in understanding better about our trading strategy, uh, about our trading strategy. Remember yesterday, I, I even said, yesterday I even said that when we see that the market has, has made a breakout below the demand zone and made a retest, a retest of the demand zone on, 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 upside, on, on downside, that means do not expect the market to come back, on, uh, to come back easily on bullish market just like that it will it will finish the bearish move first before it comes back to a uh, bullish market so you, and you can see what happened here the market made a breakout and this now is a kind of retest and we expect a down uh, a down, uh, a down a downside move a downside move a more bearish market on this one now let's see guys let's go back to uh, our major question why now this the 10 days, 10 days demand, is, demand zone seems not to work. What next now? If 10 days demand zone seems not to work, what now? What now? So here we go. Here we go, guys. Remember in our, uh, uh, when, 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 when we started on the theory part of this market maker's goals, I told you that we are going to use 15 minutes time frame and and four minutes a uh, four hours time frame so in order for us to understand better about uh, uh, today's presentation we have to go back to four hours time frame let me just remove all these stuffs let me just remove all these stuffs just go to four hours time frame just go to four hours time frame and uh, because we are on four hour time frame we can even expand this one so that you can see Clearly, the market is doing. Guys, you can see now, this is now four hours time frame. This is now four hours time frame. And we also have period separator on four hours time frame. But the period separator on four hours time frame represents five days. That means from here to this point is five days. Which means from here to here, will represent five days. That means this, bar, this separator here represents the market from Monday to Friday. So we are now on the third day. We are not yet on, uh, we are not yet finished five days. We have not yet finished five days. So, it's very important. So we can even use, we can even use four hours time frame. We can even decide to use a four hours time frame to do our analysis instead of using 15 minutes time frame. Now, we, we counted 10 days, we count 10 days back from when the market closed on Friday, we now come here. 
This from here to here represents Friday, Monday to Friday market, which means the market closed at this point on Friday. The market closed somewhere here, which means whatever happened here, whatever is happening here is from Monday, and now we are on Wednesday. So whatever happened from, uh, from here back is Friday back to the, to the other days back. So since this one represents five days, so we have five days from here to here and another five days from here to here. From, from here to here, we have 10 days. We have 10 days. And from here to, to this point, it's another five days. And from here to here is another five days. So we have 20 days. Okay, guys. Now, since since demand is on, since demand is on of ten days, ten days back, ten days of the market has been has, has, has failed to give us the result we wanted. Now we have to to look for the extension. We have to look for the extension. What the market is doing, where the market is heading, if the market failed to behave on 10 days demand zone. So we have to increase, we have to extend the days. Instead of 10 days, we are now looking at 20 days, at one month. We are now going to look at one month demand and supply zone. So we consider now one month one month so what we do we, we add from uh, remember this is 5 10 15 20 so we take this one in this point after you're done with that that means you now have you now have 20 days demarcation 20 days uh, mark in between so guys this is what the market had had been doing in the past 20 days or in the last month. I, I don't like to, to, to use one month, last month, because it doesn't represent one month from, uh, from, from first day of a month, uh, from the first date of the month to the last day, date of the month, just represent 20 days. And we all know that the forest market is 24 hours five. So if forest market is 24 hours five, that means if the market runs for 20 days, it represents a one month period. One month period. So we have a one month period or 20 days, 20 days a period of the market. And now from here, we are just going to use the same way of marking the highest price reached within 20 days or within one month and the lowest price reached within one month. So we mark, we mark the point. The highest price that was the highest price reached. Sorry, this now was the highest price reached by the market. The highest price reached by the market within 20 days, and this now is the second highest price reached by the market within 20 days. Here we have the highest price reached by the lowest price reached by the market uh, within 20 days, and here we have. The second lowest price reached by the market within within what within 20 days. It's very important, guys. I have never taught this anywhere. It's the first time I'm teaching this because I have seen a loophole on the 20, on the 10 days. Uh, we had some weakness on, on on those demand zone of 10 days, and now I'm presenting to you something that will solve all that problems. After this presentation of today, you will face no more problems with market maker scores. I tell you guys, it will be a perfect trading strategy ever. It will be a wonderful trading strategy ever. It's not perfect, of course. There is no a perfect trading strategy in the world. It, it will be just the best trading strategy that you have ever had in your life. All right. Now we go to this. Now we go to this. After you are, you, you, are, you are done with this, now you mark one month supply zone, one month demand zone. 
Remember, we, we, don't, we don't count month by looking at the calendar. We count month by counting the days. 20 days represent one month of the market. You see, guys, it's very important. So we have this, the highest price reached by the market within 20, 20 days, the lowest price reached by the market within 20 days. So we can see what the market has been doing in the, in the, past, 20, uh, in the past 20 days. The market was on this trend, was up was on uptrend within 20 days. And after those 20 days, the market reached at the highest price. And uh, it now, it now bounced on the, uh, it now created a supply zone. It created a supply zone where we had a lot of bears position just there. And after that, we had a drop, had a drop, had a drop guys, had a drop. So this drop, this drop, this drop of the market has not yet reached, has not yet reached a monthly, a 20 days demand zone. Has not reached the, the, the last, the, the last 20 days, the past 20 days demand zone. And that's why, and that's why now you can see 10 days demand zone is not working. Remember the 10 days demand zone was somewhere here. 10 days demand zone was somewhere there. That's why you can see a breakout on 10 days demand zone. Why? Because the market is looking a monthly demand zone. The market is looking at um, is searching for a monthly demand zone. And that's why we have an extension. We have an extension of the market from 10 days to 20 days. Remember, we are also going to the maximum, the maximum, uh, the maximum demand zone that we are going to look at is a two month, 40 days. So after 20 days, we, we will be looking also at 40 days. That will be a maximum. We will not go further from there. We will not go further from there because from my experience and after testing this strategy on 40 days, I've seen the maximum the maximum extension that the market might have is 40 days just going in one direction. 40 days going in one direction, going in one, in one direction, either up or down, uptrend or downtrend. I'm not talking about the, the, the exception or exceptional pairs. You see, we have some exception. We have some exception, exceptional pairs like uh, like USD Zari, USD MXN, USD Tri, you can see the market is just on uptrend for the whole year. That is an exception. So you guys should know about the exception of this. Of this, this one is working on this current pairs that we we normally know. We, we normally uh, we normally trade. We have major pairs, uh, some major pairs, and. Uh, 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 these are like pairs, uh, 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 minor pairs, we, we, we know, cross pairs. Major pairs, the pair that has a USD inside, and the cross pair, the pair that do not have USD. I'm not talking about exotic pairs, I'm not talking about uh, uh, product or commodities, I'm just talking about major pairs and uh, cross pairs. So it's very important to understand the exception of while using uh, uh, while using market makers codes it's very important guys it's very important it's very important all right so the maximum uh, zones that we'll be looking at under market makers codes is 40 days but but now let's continue with 20 days uh, so that we can learn more about this so why are we having this because the market is now looking the market is now looking at a monthly demand zone or 20 days demand zone. And that's why we have rejection. We have a rejection on 10 days. The market is rejecting uh, 10 days demand zone. It's now looking for 20 days demand zone. So you need to understand that, guys. You need to understand that. And I tell you, I tell you, you will see what will happen when the market reach at this point. It will be a huge bullish market. It will be a huge bullish market. I tell you, guys, just watch this. Just watch this and you will tell me. Once you know about this, you will not make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? 
Once you understand about this, don't make any mistake. Don't make any mistake. Now, we have this one. For those who were not here, for the benefit of those who were not here yesterday, you can see the market, uh, we had this kind of uh, move down here. But you see the cross of five, the cross of five moving average, exponential moving average over 50 just happened at this point. So at this point is where you could take, you, you could confidently take your position and hold until you are satis satisfied. You see, uh, on, 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 on 10 days demand zone, it was just a pullback. It was just a pullback to, uh, to, to this 50, uh, 50 uh, exponential moving average, uh, which is now acting as a dynamic resistance, then boom, you see guys, we had, we had formation of pin bar there before the market decided to, to find or to move down in order to look for, uh, in order to look for the 20 days demand. So guys, this is very powerful, I tell you, and I swear, that once you understand this, guys, once this one gets in your mind, once this one gets in your blood, you will not make any mistake. I tell you guys, it's going to be very powerful because you will exactly see what the market is doing. Just imagine if you mark, you mark 10, 10 days, you mark 10 days demand zone there, mark 10 days demand zone, and you see the market uh, just made a pullback, just like this, and we see uh, you see that some some pin bar and bounce on 50 exponential moving average, and you see this this information provided by this pin bar here and Doge candlestick pattern there. What is that, that? Those information tells you that the market will keep moving down. Why looking for looking for 20 days, looking for 20 days demand so. So you just take a trade and move down with it, guys. Why? Because you just consider a 10 days demand zone as just a pullback, as just a support that, that the market just made a pullback there, then it's, it's going to keep moving down until it's on 20 days demand zone. It's very important for you guys to understand that. It's very important for you guys to understand that because it's going to be very, very powerful for you. Now, let's look at this now, guys. So what I expect here, what I expect here is for this market to move down, move down until it's there. Once it's here, once it's here, I expect that the market, if it bounces from this 20, 20 days demand zone to bounce, then wait for retest, just a retest here on this, on this, uh, on this demand zone. Then what next? You buy massively. We buy massively. Guys, we buy massively. You know what? You buy massively. So this is exactly, this is, is, ex, is going to happen exactly just as how I'm showing you here, guys. It's very important. It's very important. There is nothing, uh, uh, there is nothing magic about this because it's just very clear it's just very clear if the market was just buy was just buying for the past 20 days now the market is just trying to make correction it's now trying to make correction of this move you can even try to add some more stops and eh, five bonus five bonus levels so that you can see you can see the market has already made a breakout on 50 50 uh, uh five bonus level breakout on 61 uh, golden ratio five bonus level now it's just now coming to 78.6, 88.6 is the maximum level. 88.6 is the maximum level of taking your profit. And 88.6 is where? 88.6 is just near active the demand zone. It's not easy for the market to move up to 100%. It happened, sometimes it happened, there is a, exactly 100% correction of this previous move. Remember, we are talking about this previous move. This was a buy transaction. It was a buying transaction. Now the market has to return. It has to sell to, to, to have this exchange. That's why we call it a Forex, foreign exchange. There must be an exchange. If we had a Euro, US, Euro USD just buying at that, it just to sell back so that we have the balance of the market. We, have, we must have this correction, guys. I, I think you guys, do you, do you get my point, guys? I'm talking very logical stuff here. 
And you need to understand the market, not just doing, just drawing the, 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 the things on the chart. You have to know what is happening behind the scene. See what I mean, guys? It's very important. It's very important. Now, we have that one. We have this one. Now, I want to show you something else, guys. I want to show you something else. I want to add something else here. Because we do not have much time to, to repeat stubs because I, I, I will have to come back and receive your questions before I proceed. So I, I, I want to add something here. You see, if I wait, I wait to teach you about 40 days uh, next day, I think it won't be good as, uh, it won't be as good as if I, 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 I teach you right now. I think I'm going to add this 40 days demand zone and supply zone just right now before I receive your questions. I think I need to, re to remove this one. Okay. All right. Now, this is now, this is now what the market has been doing in the past, in the past 20 days. Now, remember this one represents five days, a single separator represents five days. So if we add 20, 25, 30, 35, what? 40. We have 40 here. So 40, this one extend a little bit. 40, this one extend a little bit up to this point. And uh, now this one act as the second highest because under 40, the highest is this one. Uh, okay, and under 40, the lowest just now extend up there. You can see the uh, you can see the uh, the adjustment. It's very important, guys, for you to consider those adjustments and the second highest, and the second lowest, lowest and the second lowest is just this one. You can see the adjustment. There are just little adjustment, and this one is now very clear. The 20 days demand zone is not quiet different, oh, uh, there is no such a big difference between 20 days demand zone and 40 days demand zone. Just, just like that, like that. You need to understand that. Okay. All right, guys. So we come back here. You see now, this is now, this is now, this is now 40 days, 40 days, two months, two months. So if we look at this market under two months, you can see the market was on a range market sideway market why you see the market just moved from there on the top there to this point then from this lowest point to this highest point here and from there now it has to come back maybe when it's back here it will have to go back again up there before it drop down. So the market is now on range market. We already know about range market or sideways market. But under this now, you see a big picture. You see a very clear picture of it. See what I, see what I mean, guys? So now we have that. Uh, this is now supply zone, and this is now a demand zone. 40 days demand zone. Now, you see, you can now fade. You can now switch. You can now you can now switch the way you want, uh, and enjoy the market and enjoy the market. You know, right now you not trade blindly. You trade while you understand what you are trading. So once you understand this, guys, once you understand this concept, and once you you, you practice on this one, you make money. I tell you, you make money in the forex market. Because you see the market in a very clear picture. You see the market in a very, very clear picture. So I, I, urge, you, I urge you guys to focus on this. There is nothing special because what I, I can explain on 40 days is the same that I can explain on, on what? On 20 days. 5, 10, uh, uh, 15, uh, 20. 5, 30, 35, 20. So, Tano, Kumit, Shirin. So I can just put it there. So this one. See the, the this one is 20 days, this one is another 20 days. You can see. This one, this one here, the past 20 days was down. And you can see what the market did. 
just came back and made a retest here on this lowest, then boom, up there. Now the market is up there, it has to go down. That's what I expect. So what I mean guys, it's very clear, it's very, very clear. Now, if you take a look at the same, because uh, you see, when, when looking at, when you're looking at, uh, at the Audi SD, Audi SD uh, has, has a, a, a negative correlation with, uh, with Euro Audi. When you see Audi SD selling, uh, be sure that Euro Audi will be, will be buying. But as for this time, you can see, you can see Euro Audi is just making some pullback up. It was just up here, made a pullback, and you can see the same thing happened on, on what on Euro Audi. It was buying, but now it's just down, just like that. So it's very easy to to see it. It's very easy to see. It. So Euro Audi, you can see the same thing on Euro Audi. You can see the same thing on Euro Audi. Maybe we took a look at it on four hours. The same thing on Euro Audi. So we can mark, uh, we can mark the the the. the the days because we count from here. This was on Friday, so this is what the market is doing right now. So we count 20 days back. This is 10. This is 20. Uh, this is now 14. So we have 14 days here, and you can clearly see, you can clearly see what the market has been doing. Uh, what the market has been doing for the past 40 days and you can see very clearly very clear now you see this for the past 40 days it is a downtrend but the market is now has now made a breakout on this you see the market already made a breakout on this by uh, uh, monthly demand monthly monthly guys demand it's a monthly demand is uh, two monthly demand is on 40 days demand demand is on so and the richest you see the richest so for anyone who knew about this, when you saw a retest here, like this, you just buy. How many pips until now? How many pips until now? 274.1 pips. A lot of pips, guys. And you can see what the market is doing now is just a pullback. It's just a pullback, but it's still on. It still has a long way to go on until it reaches, uh, until it's somewhere, until it's somewhere up there. See guys, the market is still on this, on this uptrend, uh, still on this uptrend until it reaches at that. Yeah. But you can see, if you, if you, you think 40 days move or picture is very huge, you might consider 20 days. Just here, you might consider 20 days. So this is 20 days, and you can see this was the, uh, the the highest, and this was the second highest, 20 days. So you might consider this one as the maximum target on buying this euro. Then after that, a drop. See, see what I mean? So you can you, you can just see it's just the same, this uh, almost the same thing, almost the same thing that we expect on this one. So guys, it's very important for you to understand this. And once you understand this, guys, once you understand this, you're going to make money in the forest market. All right. Uh, before I proceed further, may I receive some questions? Because I want to go to uh, an example of other two pairs, uh, GBP pair, one GBP pair, and uh, Euro GBP. Of course, two GBP pairs. Two GBP pairs. Uh, I want to take... GBP XXX and uh, Euro GBP. Uh, Euro, uh, GBP. All right, some questions. I want to receive some questions before proceeding further. Anyone with question, please. Mr. Arshad, oh, Mr. Arshad, uh, Mr. Arshad is from Pakistan and is very active and I like, I, I love the way that he responds very fast. If you have any, 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 if you have any question, please, guys. Any question, guys? If you, I may receive some questions, you know, from this point, from this point, uh, from this after this presentation today, 
guys, I want you guys to, 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 to prepare as many, as many analysis as possible using marketing makers course. You can just decide to analyze uh, uh, your pair under any, under any days, 10 days, 20 days, 40 days. Because you might see, uh, you might see sometimes 10 days working very perfect. Sometimes 20 days working very perfect, 40 days working very perfect. So you have to consider all possibilities. When, and when, when analyzing a pair, please consider both, all 10 days, uh, 20 days, and 40 days. Why? In order to get a clear picture, a clear picture, at least in, in, in a range of two months. Mr. Larry is asking, sir, so you advise us to look on 20 days and 40 days to get more picture of the market instead of 10 days. Of course, Mr. Mr. Larry, I'm not just advising to just make a look on 20 days. Use all 10 days, 20 days, 40 days. Why? Because I don't want you to miss an opportunity. You see, 10 days, it might work very good when you are scalping. 20 days when you are swinging. 40 days also when you are swinging. So, 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 so you, you just consider all, just consider all, because no, no one is going to restrict you. No one is telling you not to, to use all. You can just use all. Why? Because you want to get every information about that pair. And that is very important. It's very important. I think that Mr. Uh, Mr. Larry is very clear now. If we have any question, guys, any other question? Any other question? May I receive some more questions? Because, you know, guys, we are not going to, to have many steps here. Because, in fact, I have already finished Marketing Makers course. It's very simple, very simple, just like that. The only thing that you need right now is just practice. Practice, practice makes perfect. So you better do that, guys. I think I, I see people do not have do not have questions. Maybe I should go back to the to, to more examples. Maybe I should go back to in order for you to uh, to have more confidence on this market maker scores. Just take any media pair or any course pair, put it there and screen it under market maker scores and see how exactly the market is respecting market maker scores. You will just be amazed. You will just be amazed. It is, it is just like a bread from heaven. I tell you guys, use it and you will enjoy your life. Now, let me take some more examples. Let me take some more examples here. Take a look at uh, GBP USD. Uh, guys, take a look at GBP USD. You see, of course, GBPUSD, it was an opportunity. It was an opportunity that you guys should have taken. And uh, it, uh, I, I saw somebody uh, sent this one. I think Mr. Arshad sent this one in the, in the group. If not, Mr. Arshad is somebody else. Sent this one in the group. And I think you guys made a lot of money here. In fact, I made a lot of money here today. Like, I made like 100 pips. I, 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 I took my profit on 100 pips. So just, you, you see how life it is. It's very, it's very good. If, 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 if we do things together, if we keep analyzing the market together, you know, it gives you confidence and it helps you to see things that you could not see if you were just alone in your room. See what I mean, guys? Because we, sh uh, we share some information, we ask questions and we share some information and once we are, we, we are done with that, then we, we, we take our position because uh, we have already put in place every information that is required before we trigger our position in the market. Now, you see, uh, let me take uh, GBP JPY. Let me take GBP JPY or maybe GBP Swiss Frank is very noisy. Let, let, let's take GBP JPY because they just act they just act the same. You can see the same kind of behavior on GBPXXX. The same kind of behavior. So on four hours time frame, let's just screen this under under market maker scores. You see, this is now 
this is now our demarcation. See? So we count 40 days back. 10, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30, 35, 40. So we have 40 days there. See what I mean, guys? 40 days there. So what the what the highest price reached by the market in the 40 days back? This was the highest price. The second highest, 40 days, this one. Okay, it's also very important if you have drawing, you have drawing 40 days, you might consider maybe to put another demarcation for 20 days, 20 days. 5, 10, 15, 20, somewhere here to the middle to separate. Uh, the 20 days, 20 days. See, it's very important sometimes. So we, we can distinguish this one. We'll put another color there. Uh, another color, this one, this. Yes. So this one is right, 20 days, 20 days. So uh, we have that. And uh, we have this, the lowest price within 40 days. So the second lowest, maybe you consider this one, somewhere there. Okay, uh, uh, now, another question to ask ourselves is, what the market has been doing in the past? So we can see 20 days, the market was down. <laughs> see what, guys, 20 days is very powerful. So the market was down 20 days, uh, bounced on this demand zone, then come back, retest again on the demand zone within the next 20 days, then boom, up to where? To the past 20 days, previous 20 days what? Previous 20 days demand zone. See how the market is behaving, guys? And I want to tell you guys this concept. The, re the research were conducted, uh, were conducted about forex market, and they come into conclusion that uh, uh, after, after, 19, after, ni ni after 1995, I think 1995 or after 2000, after 2000, the market was no longer was no longer in uh, in, in, a, in a trading market. Instead, the market was in a range market. But before 2000, the market was more in a trading market rather than in a range market. So it was very the market was very predictable. But after 2000, you can see the market is no longer moving very much in a trend. It's not very predictable. It's very complicated. The market become, became very complicated. And why? Because any market in a sideway or in a range, in a range is a very, is a very, very difficult market. Why? Because you don't know when the market will make a, will make a breakout outside of the range. You don't know. So they keep they keep making they keep moving in a range, in a range or in a sideway, and put you in a comma or in a put you in a bracket. You can see the market just moving from here down here, and you can see from this lowest price up there, and from there now we expect this kind of move. It might not maybe move up to this point because of another strategy that will come to learn about. We come to learn about what we come to learn about market makers' methods. So because I know about it, that's why I'm saying it might not move up to this point because I know most of GBP pairs on monthly time frame they are in a in all time demand zone, all time demand zone. So that's why I'm just considering the neckline of this W pattern here. The neckline of this W pattern here. So maximum target might be somewhere there. So guys, I don't want to add something that will confuse you because uh, if I just speak about market makers method right now, it will confuse you. And that's why once you are done with this mentorship program, you will be a master in the forest market because you just have many eyes to look at the market. You just have many eyes, many eyes. You will see market naked right in front of your eyes. See what I mean, guys? So that's what that's how you do things. Now, this one now you can see up there. This is now a supply zone. 
the market is expected now to move down. Uh, uh, and uh, the maximum target is just here. I'm not saying I'm not saying that something may not happen. Something may happen that can push the market up to this point. But uh, for the time being, I would rather consider this as a maximum target. And if I use if I use five bonus, if I decided to use five bonus retracement to mark to mark my targets, you can see that uh, fifty. 50 uh, Fibonacci level is also closer to my neckline, and the 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 the, the, the correct target that is 61.8, a golden ratio Fibonacci, a golden ratio Fibonacci is 61.8, which is very very crucial area where uh, market can do uh, reversal. So that's what that's how you can look also at this at this at this kind of market. So this is a supply, this is a demand, and you may consider to uh, focus on that, guys. Uh, you may also focus on that. You can also see this something also on on euro euro G, uh, euro GBP because if GBP and GBP XX are same, expect euro GBP to be defined. Okay, so you can see also uh, this is 40 days 2020. So the highest was that one, and uh, second highest is somewhere there. The lowest price is somewhere here, and uh, second second lowest might consider somewhere there so uh, remember we consider 40 days back we do not consider this this is just uh, this is just for the prediction direction of the market after knowing why the market is now buying it's because the market is now moving from demand zone two month demand zone going up and you can see guys past you can see guys for the past 40 days for the past 40 days, this is now powerful. For the past 40 days, Euro GBP was just selling. It was just selling for the past 40 days. What I what do I mean? For the past two months, Euro GBP was on, on a selling mission. Was on a selling mission. And now what what now? Now you can see the market has to do some pullback as to as, as to correct this two month move. Two month move, guys. The market has to correct the two month move. Down, so Euro GBP, I can say, is also another 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 package to watch very careful when trading now in the forex market. You might consider other things. You might include other things while you're trading this uh, GBP pairs because GBP now has a lot of fundamental, and we will come to discuss about fundamental. The fundamental are the only thing that may disturb that that may disturb our setups. But if you uh, you, you have many eyes to look at the market. You'll be able to see uh, those stuffs before they just happen. All right, guys. If I may have uh, some few questions before I end up this meeting today, uh, some few questions. Mr. Alfred is asking, sir, may please send the video in our group of mentorship because I failed to catch you. All right, no problem, Mr. Alfred. We will send because we always do that. No problem. Don't worry about that. Mr. Arshad is saying no question, which means it's 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 it's, uh, it's uh, everything is clear. And a question, guys, if you want to ask a question direct, I will allow you to ask. Uh, but uh, if you want to ask by writing, you can just write. Any question? Uh, Mr. Musa is saying no question. All right. All right. All right. No question. All right. Thank you, guys, for your time. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, tomorrow we will not. Uh, Mr. Ti is asking, what if the 40 days fail, sir? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I have chosen 40 days. You can just you can just extend as many days as you want, but I have chosen 40 days just because I know what type of trader we are. We are intraday trader. And a few of us are swing trader. So 40 days is just maximum. 40 days is just maximum. So if you want to become a positional trader, if I were teach, if I were to teach for, uh, where, uh, I, I was teaching to positional trader, I could even consider uh, six months, twelve months, even 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 one year. Even one year, because position tra trader are the, the, the type of trader who put who put a position in the market and hold for years. 
for months and years. So if you are a positional trader, I can teach you about that. You can even hold, you can even hold it for years. For, uh, I'm, I'm talking about positional trade. So you may try to modify this strategy as anyhow you want it. I think it's very clear. He's asking what number of pips should I target as an intraday trader? Number of pips, number of pips, uh, uh, average daily range for 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 intraday uh, for intraday uh, trade tra trading is 100 pips. 100 pips is uh, is a maximum target. The maximum target for a single for 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 the pay, for most of pairs there are 50 pips, 70 pips, 100 pips, and even more. But the maximum average daily range for the pair per single that has been set that has been set is 100 pips. So just focus on that. Do we have any other question, guys? Do we have any other question before we end up? I see we don't have. Um, uh, we don't have any other question. Okay, thank you guys. God bless you. See you tomorrow. We are not going to have presentation. We we uh, we are just going to share the analysis tomorrow. We are going to share the analysis. So this, here is here is the homework. Here is the homework. Here is the homework. Uh, no, no, Mr. Al, Mr. Aj is asking why don't you post setups here. I'm not the one who's going to post the setup. You are the one who's going to prepare the setup. The setup are coming from you guys. I have taught you, I'm not the one who's going to prepare the setup. You have now to use this knowledge to prepare the setup. Once you prepare the setup, please send it to the mentorship group. I want the setup to be sent to the mentorship group, please. So you are going to work on it. I'm not. Don't expect me to do everything for you, <laughs> Mr. Ali Haj. Mr. Ali Haj is from Ghana. Mr. Ali Haj from Ghana, and my friends from Ghana. Guys, we have friends, many friends from Ghana. Our fellow African from Ghana. So please, guys, you are the one to work on on this and send the setups in the mentorship group. And if you make any mistake, I will correct you there so that we may move together. It's very important, guys. This, this is the meaning of having mentorship group, Telegram group. All right, please, I want to remind those who have not yet paid for the, for the, for the, um, uh, for the mentorship program, for this mentorship program, please do so. Uh, uh, I'm glad that all people that I'm having now, they have already paid. But uh, we are now approaching the end of the month. You may consider to, to renew your subscription before we, 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 we are just at the end of the month. Remember, we have now just covered 50% of what we are supposed to cover. We have some more steps that we need to cover. We have trendy market strategy. We have uh, market, maker, market maker's method. That is very important for you guys to understand. So that when we come to combine all together, you'll be having many eyes to look at the market. Uh, uh, Mr. Mzrai is asking, uh, please, your question, I'll not receive more questions here. You can ask your question in the mentorship group and I'll answer there. Because we are now coming to the end of this, we are now com coming to the end of this of this of this of this program. Thank you.